where have we been? <laughs> this is probably the longest time I've gone without uploading a video on YouTube, possibly in the history of the channel, but maybe there's been one. Regardless, I have a full explanation at the end of the video. It's just a short one today, but we're getting back in the swing of things. So yeah, just stick around to the end of the episode. I'll explain exactly why we have not been uploading. But uh, I do want to thank 10,000 Fish for sponsoring today's episode. We're very appreciative of their support and going to tell you a little bit more about some of our favorite products by 10,000 Fish throughout today's episode. Let's not delay any longer, y'all. You've been waiting a while. Let's get into it. What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out with Fishing with Becca and Fishing Grubs yet again on like day three. How long have y'all been here at this point? It's I've all a blur because... I've been here for like two weeks. Two weeks. It's been so fast paced I can hardly keep up. And we're fishing some spots shh, in their Airbnb neighborhood. It's resident only. Luckily, they are temporary residents this week. And so we have full access to the spots right around the pool. And they look absolutely sick. Water clarity looks great. Wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour today. If I didn't mention that already, you'd think spinner baits would be good. But Todd got out earlier and said they were on the wacky rig bite, oddly enough. So we might have to find ourselves using something a little bit more finesse and tactical to get some bites. This place is so sick, it's like three or four tiered ponds around this thing with waterfalls and just looks total juice. So we got the STI packed with rods, we're gonna get it unloaded and here comes that wind. Little top secret spot up here. Throw some finesse right quick. I wasn't filming. <laughs> I wasn't. The GoPro stopped on me. All right, y'all. We just got the first one on the cinnamon lunker log. He hit halfway between me and the fountain. All right, buddy. We'll see you next time. Have fun. Peace. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Whoa. Oh. Oh. That's a, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one, Becca. <laughs> New favorite color bandito bug! That's a three and a half right there. No, you think that's it's probably four. So that's 21 inches. Dude, what the heck? He said that's 21 inches. <laughs> Food pumpkin purple uh, bandito bug, new color. Go pick it up, link down below. Oh, oh so close. 313. 313. It is so close to four pounds. Well, that's my biggest uh, bass. I think I've officially weighed in Texas. I might have caught a bigger one with John B. Green pumpkin, purple bandito bug gets it done. Look at the tail, a little bloody, might be spawning, thinking about spawning. Just a beautiful fish. This is a big bass for this size pond. Big bass. Yeah, like this is pretty crazy. I did not expect that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna set a couple pictures and get her back. Oh, nice. <laughs> He took the rod in the water. <laughs> you almost lost the tracks. <laughs> oh, he's big. That was sick. That was insane. <laughs> Just, I love the I don't even hesitate. Just, oh, zero hesitation. Cool. There you go. There we go. Hold on to him. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll lock. It'll lock. It'll lock. All right, let's see how much he weighs. Six and three quarters. <laughs> a six and three quarter pound catfish out of the smallest little urban environment, man. How crazy is that? Shout out to Grubs. My man, don't mess around. That was sick, my dude. Man, we didn't lose my three hundred dollar tranks. Dude, <laughs> what a way to start the freaking video. <laughs> what? Another good one. Two plus. Another good one. Dude, Just sit tracks. down. Give me some green pumpkin purple. Yeah, green I, Yo. I got some, bro. Oh. <laughs> just feels good to sit down and not really do much except for catch the biggest ones out here. Yeah. What up, dude? Bought a case with the mic. Yeah. Look, look yeah. Torrance has got this new case right here, and it's got a built-in microphone, which is supposed to be better quality than the GoPros, and he's got like a windscreen on it. That's like actually sick. So what happened? No, <laughs> yeah, Becca's sitting down they catching big fish. That. I'm like tossing out here. Todd's way over there, and, and I just see. I was standing on the. Rocks. I just see the orange rod in the water, like just. Just cruising very slow yeah, on yeah. the surface. It was right there. It was. The water, and I'm like, I think it just fell though. I'm like, I think it just literally the wind took it because it was going slow on the surface. Yeah. And I'm like, no, no, definitely catfish. So I start getting her attention. She's getting his attention. He runs over here, dude, and it's, it's like in the middle of the pond by then, but we can what still see it. He just strips down, dude, the whole family of this house comes outdoors and is like, I thought they were like calling the cops. No, they're all like, yes, yes 
yes when he's in the oh, water so fucking big. yanking him and then they're like that fish is huge <laughs> the whole family do kids parents i'm fighting in my yeah. boxers yeah i know i was like they can't be happy the they can't be happy the right sport, yeah <laughs> <laughs> you were chest deep like neck deep when you kind of set the hook above the water then you had to like walk back to the shallows to fight it all right y'all it's getting windy we done tore this place up we might make another move in the city so uh, we'll catch you at the next location all right y'all a quick word from today's sponsor and we're jumping right back into the fishing content as as well as why have we not been uploading so here we go y'all 10,000 fish some of my favorite baits by them and how to rig and use them first of all we're gonna talk about the cycle bait this is your spinner bait alternative something new to the market with a little bit more weave in the swim almost like a realistic bait fish which is what these represent so I love spinner baits for those cloudy windy days and these are some of the best when it comes to spinner baits and the alternatives which are the cycle bait also this guy is gonna pair up right nicely on the back there and it's just gonna give that little tickler tail is just gonna start fluttering along the back of the cycle bait. I've also caught fish on the Yoda worm, just simply Texas rigged. Some folks will tie them onto a shaky head, drop shot, multiple rigging options, but a fantastic bait when they're not on the moving bite. So maybe you put the cycle bait up and you start popping this guy along the bottom and really start keying in and getting those hits. Next up, you guys, is the Sukoshi bug. Check out this color too. Look at that guy right there. That is the green pumpkin orange crawl. It says the little creature dances with every twitch. A fish finds his snack. So I like to Ned rig these guys right here. So maybe you're thinking eighth of an ounce. Uh, yeah, it gets light, right? You can go up to maybe a quarter ounce, but you just want a slow fall with these guys and you're going to be talking about finessing it down to capture more bites. And these things absolutely excel when it is tough. Lastly, and potentially my favorite is the Headhunter. This is a bluegill style soft plastic swim bait with a hook that is actually not exposed. It's hidden under that top fin there and it actually will flip up when you get the bite. So it, it kind of alleviates the problem of when bass shake and they use the weight of that bait as leverage to free themselves from the hook. It kind of separates itself from the bait, if you will, and there's less chance of them using that leverage to get away from you so you can land those fish. We've got two awesome colors here as well as two sizes. This guy right here is the green wizard. Then we've got this little guy right here. This is the green machine and that is in this three quarter inch size uh, as well as it weighing about a half an ounce. So we'll factor that in with the rods we choose. I would probably pair this guy up with a Guggen Squad go-to rod. And then whenever I wanna get a little bit beefier for that larger size head hunter that's one ounce, I'd probably throw it on the muscle rod if I had my choice. And, and of course, you guys compare these to whatever rods you have that are gonna be comparable to the Guggen Squad rod lineup. You just know that's what we use over here on the channel. For the Yoda worms, I'd say if you're fishing them along the bottom, I'd go with that go-to or the muscle rod. But now if you're pairing it on the back of that cycle bait, I would say you're definitely throwing the cycle bait on something like the Guggen Squad go-to or the reaction rods. So you know exactly what to throw these things on. And then if you're dropping down to the Ned rig, I would say suggest just going with your spinning combo. Once again, thank you 10,000 Fish for sponsoring today's episode. Let's get right back to it. What's up, big dog? House. It's been a while. God dang, he's been man. Out of town. And, uh, and he's back. So we are ready to rip some lips, ladies and gentlemen. Becca and Todd, dude, they rushed to the pond. Like, they're leaving us in the dust. Yes. We're over here. She didn't even wait. <laughs> she didn't need, did she not even wait. Yeah, I got it. She said, <laughs> if there's a five pounder, I'll find him for you. So we better hustle. I'm going to put the GoPro on. What? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Do you have the scale, dude? Yeah, I have the scale. I'm, I'm gonna give her a drink of water, so dude, I have Dude, like you know how we just we just said they rushed us to the pond, they're gonna catch a five pounder? Becca just first cast caught a five. Wow. Five, 12, I said six pounds. Five and three quarters. Holy crap. Tank. There's no way that, that just happened before that, we even got over here. T's on with a good one. He's small, he's small. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, so after Becca caught that bass almost six pounds and Todd caught that huge catfish in the neighborhood, we ended up wrapping things up. There was a huge lack of context in this video and I really apologize for it. This footage has just been sitting on my computer and I had to get the stuff out because those moments were so awesome and yet the wind noise made the audio terrible throughout the video and I wasn't able to say certain things or some things I was telling you guys you literally couldn't hear. So I had to just completely cut it out and my GoPro was acting up. So it was just a, a string of unfortunate events but like I said there was so much action and energy in this video that it had to absolutely get posted some things don't always go your way you guys know if you're trying to make videos yourself you're gonna run into hurdles but with all that being said, we're now on to the next project. I have a lot of content coming y'all's way. I know it's been a little quiet lately and that's because I've been out of town for a family wedding and I'm now out of town again. It is actually 8.30 in the morning and we're filming Unchartered in South Carolina. We're in the Charleston area. I'm here with Lojo Fishing and Fishing with Becca, which is quite funny because we were in Texas 
in this video and now we're in South Carolina with Becca so it just seems like we're traveling all over the place together but anyway she got on her Texas PB Todd caught that giant catfish my GoPro was acting up the whole day and when I say my GoPro was acting up the whole day I mean it was like just randomly cutting clips it didn't get multiple catches I caught a handful of bass at that pond where she was sitting down and Todd caught the catfish but it just literally was not getting recorded something was going on with my battery pack and it was having the GoPro have all these faults and the clips were not salvaged so you missed all my catches virtually at the pond except for the one that I was able to get the clip of me releasing that I caught on the lunker log but now we're on to bigger and better things so like I said I have so much more footage coming your way we have more bass boat footage we have more kayak footage I have a lot of stuff stacked my plan was to upload a lot of videos while we we're here but I've been quite busy filming sun up to sundown we're literally about to head out for our final day of fishing with unchartered these videos are gonna be an absolute blast and you'll be able to find them over on the catch company YouTube channel but, like I say, more bank fishing, kayak fishing, boat fishing, John Boat, the new stuff is coming y'all's way soon, so be on the lookout. We'll catch you on those episodes. Peace.